Hey y'all, it's Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You can find me over on Instagram at The Magical Reader. I'm also on Threads and my debut novel, Victory Gallop, a children's chapter book is out on Amazon and Etsy. So today's video is going to be hopefully a quick one, but it's going to be the booktube newbie tag. Now I know what y'all are thinking. Those of y'all have been with me for a minute. You are not a booktube newbie and you're correct. <laughs> um, but this is like a booktube revitalization moment for me. So I did booktube about three years ago, not for very long, um, but I started it and then I took a few years off to write and promote a book. Um, I moved since then. Um, I've got two new jobs since then. A lot of things happened. So while my channel is not necessarily new, um, I am joining back to it and I have a lot of new friends on here since when I first started. So um, for those of y'all that are new, uh, for me pretending to be new, I suppose, <laughs> um, I wanted to tell y'all a little bit more about me and why I'm here on the internet. So without further ado, I'm going to do the booktube newbie tag. Okay, so first things first, why did you start this channel? Um, I'm going to talk twofold. So why I started and why I restarted. So I originally started my channel um, because I was inspired by a lot of people that I'd seen. Um, Peru's Project, um, Haley and Bookland, Books with Emily Fox, really good creators. Um, and I thought that could be really fun in addition to Instagram. Instagram was popping off at that time, but I still wanted to... Um, you know, have another outlet to talk books with maybe people that weren't on Instagram or people that were just more casual viewers of book content. Why I restarted my channel is I have learned that while YouTube is a visual medium, for me, it's more of a talking medium. <laughs> so I am a writer. I love to write, um, but Instagram is hard. And I wanted to be able to... Um, really utilize my skills. I love to take pictures, but I'm not a photographer. I'm an oral storyteller. I come from a teaching background, um, a humanitarian background, a nonprofit background. I have joked that I talk to people for a living. I now work in higher education and I advise students. So I'm always talking. I am sometimes decently theatrical, maybe even funny, if you will. Um, and I just love talking. I know that sounds kind of crazy as someone who is an introvert, um, but that's my method of communication that I thrive off of. So I figured this would be a fun way to be able to talk about things that I've loved reading, things that I've picked up, um, you know, all sorts of stuff. And it's kind of like a video diary. I know that sounds kind of like cheesy to say, but um, yeah, so that's why I restarted my channel. I just knew that this is what I loved to do. This is how I love to talk to people about books. And I know that I watch a lot of booktube, so I know a lot of people feel the same way. Okay, question two. What are some fun and unique things that you bring to booktube? Oh, there's my doggo making an appearance. I think we have individual perspectives. So, you know, booktube has been done before, obviously. That's why we're all here. Um, and I, I don't think anything that I do is gonna be above and beyond what anyone else does, but um, you know, I think I have a unique perspective in terms of, you know, what I grew up reading, how I've lived my life, the places I've been, you know, what I've experienced. And we all have those experiences that sort of informed who we are as readers and writers. And, um, yeah, hopefully you, you guys enjoy what I have to say. Hopefully it brings a little light to your day. Okay. Question number three is what are you most excited for with your channel? So I think for me, what I'm most excited for is just the ability to connect with people that I haven't connected with so far, to reach a new audience, um, to be able to really just go on and on about what I love, right? I'm not really thinking about how I'm going to craft something perfect. I'm not going to script my uh, script my videos. Um, it's not writing a caption and trying to fit in this perfect thing, right? So for me on booktube, I feel like I can be a little less um, scripted, a little bit more just off the cuff and excited about things, really show my emotion if I really like something. Okay, so number four is what is going to be your hardest challenge to overcome? Um, 
I think for me, it's patience. Um, you know, I, I'm not the best editor. I'm not the best at filming. I know nothing about sound and lighting. I'm just like here in my guest bedroom chilling, recording on my phone because I don't have any room on my SD card. Um, so, you know, that's a challenge for me. I understand technology quite well, but I don't have the patience to use it. Also just time, you know, I'm writing my second novel now. Um, it's a YA fiction. Um, I have my job working as a writer, um, well, as an author, working as a freelance writer. Um, I do the horse thing, you know, I do way too many things as a lot of us do. And um, I would say that patience and time, which kind of go hand in hand, would be the two biggest challenges for me to overcome. Okay, question five is when did you start reading? Oh boy, I started reading when I was just a tiny little thing. Um, I was like three. And um, yeah, I started reading really early and I read a lot. Um, I read anything and everything, especially fantasy and horse books. <laughs> and um, that's like what I did. Um, I went to my middle school library every day before and after school. Shout out Pence Library. Hey. Um, I was a regular in my elementary library, of course. So yeah, I did the book it thing. I did the accelerated reader thing. I did the book fairs. I was in book clubs. I was at the library all the time. Um, I've been reading forever and I guess I stopped in college. Um, you know, I, I went through a time, <laughs> if you will, um, during college and I was not reading at all. I did not read in grad school. I did not read after grad school. Um, I didn't start reading again until 2020 um, when the pandemic hit and I really started reading again after uh, finding books by books with Emily Fox's channel. She had a beauty channel, which I watched, uh, but I found her booktube channel and, you know, she got me back onto reading, which is cool. Um, but yeah, so I, I've been reading forever. I took a break for probably seven years for all of my degrees and um, yeah, now I'm back at it. All right, so the final question is, what kind of books do you like to read? And I would say my top two genres are mystery and fantasy. I read a lot of YA, and then I also read some new adult and adult, but fantasy and mystery are my favorites. Romanticy, if we want to call that a genre, you know, officially now is definitely creeping up there as well. Um, I love a good like espionage, spy thriller, political thriller situation. I love a sci-fi moment. I love a dystopian moment. Um, but yeah, I would say 90% of the things I read are mystery and fantasy. But I will also read a good memoir every once in a while. So I try to read a little bit of everything. It's hard. We only have so many hours in the day. But yes, those are the books that I like to read. All right, y'all. So those are the six questions on the BookTube newbie tag. And for me, it's a BookTube... Uh, re-welcoming, if you will, <laughs> resurgence. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys uh, found something interesting of what I shared today. If you like fantasy, mystery, YA, um, author musings, a little bit of lifestyle in between, uh, just stick around. Definitely hit the subscribe button. Uh, give this video a like so that some more people are able to see it if they are interested. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.